Have you ever watched Wicked Tuna and said to yourself, I don't think it's quite like that? There's a lot of things <laughs> that didn't quite like that. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about five things about Wicked Tuna that, frankly, folks, they're not true. And now you're going to know and you're never going to watch the show the same again. Wicked Tuna myth number one, Professor, would be? Price per pound. Price per pound. You know, we just went through a whole season here in the OBX, and our average price per pound that we actually got paid, do you remember the number? $9. It was $9 a pound. That was an average over all that of was, our fish. That was an average over all the fish, and if you watch the show, I would venture to say the average is probably somewhere in that 15 to 20 range per pound. You got it. I'd say if I was going to guess 15, yeah. Yeah, and so it looks like what they're doing is they're probably giving the number that the buyer would sell it for or or what do you think? I mean, what or are they just pulling it from the from I mean, the sky, it, from a hat? It has to be a gem of a fish to get that, you know, per pound. Oh, so yeah. I don't even think that the... Uh, the wholesaler sells it for that. I mean, it's just, I don't know. We, we've never seen that kind of price. The highest price we saw in North Carolina this year was probably around $13 a pound. That's exactly right. And that was at the very beginning of That's the season. That's what we got paid, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, I don't think that, the, you know, the, the distributor makes that much money on it. Yeah, so that is myth number one. Wicked Tuna myth number two. And number two, Professor, is on the show, they, show up and the buyer is able to give them a price in that very moment of course in real life how does it actually work it doesn't work like that <laughs> i mean he has an idea of what the fish will bring but he has he's just guessing when he tells you that there's no set in stone price per pound that uh, you get so it's pretty much you know whatever the market if the market floods before your fish gets to the market and price goes down it takes us how long, generally speaking, to get our actual price, that check in the mail, the pro and, and knowing the, it takes us how long? Well, I think the check in the mail about two weeks after we get, we land a fish, but the buyer was pretty good this year about texting me and let me know yep. about three days after yeah. we brought the fish in to him. So you're looking in real life, it's about three days. Now listen, we understand why they do this because the show wouldn't be as exciting. It right. wouldn't be as fun. And so we're not knocking w Wicked Tuna here. I mean, it, we get the reason why they do that. I mean, if that was my show, I would probably do some of the same things. That being said, we want you to know how it yeah. actually works. When you watch our videos, because why it's not the people same. People all the time on, on, on when they watch our videos, they're like, I, on the show, it's like such and such. We got to clarify some of those things right. here. Okay, so that was number two. Myth number three, the myth of Japan, friends. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we had a pretty decent year, but Professor... When our fish went to Japan, what a disaster. And we've got a separate video on this yeah. channel about that, but- <laughs> I was mad. Oh my goodness. It's like, don't ever send another one of my fish to Japan. Oh my, my, my. Once again, on our Facebook page, on our YouTube channel, many of you have said, straight to Japan. That's going to Japan. And because that's what they say on the show, it's supposed to be the gold standard. Well, in the past it may have been, but that has changed because of the economy and the yen and the value of the yen versus the dollar and all these other things. I'm telling you, once you send it to, to Japan and you've got all these like, uh, almost like commissions and taxes and whatnot that you pay, yeah. it was by far our worst of the season. We oh, yeah. averaged somewhere around $5 a pound that we got paid. It was a disaster. So horrible. Japan is not the dream, at least in the tuna world, at least not in 2023 that you see on the show. Number four myth on Wicked Tuna, and that is the beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Man, here they are. Morgan, there they are. We're in the meat. 
That's the meat. It's down there deep. Uh, <laughs> so I I feel stupid because I fell for this one, Professor. <laughs> and I started watching Wicked Tuna. I thought really that that beeping sound when they marked the fish was like that was a standard. And then suddenly I think I would when I was out with you, it like it came to me. No, that's not actually how it works. <laughs> so explain how the beeping does work and if anybody actually does it. Well, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even know if our units have a fish alarm on it. I know the right. old, the first hummingbird ones they came out, they had a fish alarm on it. Whenever you marked a fish or whatever, you could set the alarm and it would beep, but it would drive you absolutely insane because any <laughs> fish that swam, any bait ball or anything like that, any little glitch on the screen, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. So uh, no, when you get the mark, you do not hear the beep, 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 beep. That's exactly right. So what happens is on the show, they put that sound effect into the action, into the screen. It heightens your enjoyment of the moment. Yeah. And once again, it works. It's clever. It works, it's very, very smart. Yeah. But that's not actually how how it works. No. So that is myth number four. And finally, and this has been fun, Professor. And we're set. The whole world is like, no way, right now. <laughs> All the Wicked Tuna fans. <laughs> myth number five of Wicked Tuna. Again, we love Wicked Tuna. It was my favorite show for all these years. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. We think the guys on Wicked Tuna are just tremendous. Like the, the team, we just enjoy them very much. But it's, we just, we think it's fun that you know these things. So number five is the click, 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 click sound effect that is added when that clicker, the reel, yeah. goes off, Professor. Yeah. And normally it does not go tick. Tick, 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 tick. It's not like know. a nipple. I think 99 out of 100 times, it's like, zoom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like That's how like, it works. Yeah. The fish is going the opposite way in a hurry. Yeah, in a hurry. And you and you see that rod tip just swing out yeah. to wherever that, where that fish is taking it. And so, I mean, there's others too. They'll do a dart sound sometimes. The throwing of the dart doesn't make the noise. I mean, just general sound effects. But that's Hollywood. That's good production. That's good video editing. They've got a great team over there at Wicked Tuna. But now you know the rest, as they say, of the story. Still a great show. It and still, show. it's an amazing time. Yeah. And so we're just letting you know that's why when in our videos, you don't <laughs> yes. hear the beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and then things. you don't hear the tick, 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 tick. <laughs> yes. And you, and you know the truth about Japan yeah. because again, most of ours go domestic and domestic is, is the, where the best pricing was this year. So folks, now, you know, also hopefully you can experience this in real life. Stop watching the show alone. Come out here, which in fact, we talked about how it was like doing this a full season now. You can't watch the show the it's, same. It's tough to watch. Yeah, the show. It's, yeah. it's a lot different now. Yeah. So come out here and experience it with us. It's been an amazing time. Slip number 92 here at Pirates Cove Marina, Manio, North Carolina. We hope you like, we hope you subscribe. You know what to do. And until the next time, everyone, stay salty.